This is a Catalina 470. Belongs to a friend of mine, Bill and Julie, who've been cruising for uh, about 10 years now, full time. And Bill is my go-to person whenever anything needs fixing on the boat. He's probably done it before. And today, he's gonna show us what happens when you have to cut a Starlink cable uh, because you can't thread the connector through uh, wherever you want to put it and I think this may prove useful to some people. Okay for those people that um, need to cut the cable uh, to install their Starlink which some people have to do because the spaces aren't sufficient to thread the cable through um, Bill's going to show you how to do it. Where you go Bill? Okay, so anyway, that was a piece I cut to figure out that it was what people told me that it was a certain amount of wires and not some odd thing that I couldn't cut and we put back together. So, anyway, take off the outer housing. So what we have are eight twisted pairs of the ground wire. Some blitz the ground wire, there it is. Remember to do them if you're too late. Like shrink tubing. Uh, big shrink tubing, medium shrink tubing. Should put this on before I cut it, but such is life. That's the sort of thing I do. Yeah, well, I can gather it all up. And it works, so that's all I care about. So we'll leave you off somewhere where you're going to get heated up. You got a hink, shrink, or each of the individual cables. Yep. All right. All of them. That's why this becomes an hour project. Or more. Okay. So try and control all this stuff. Okay. Shrink tubing's going to be long enough. This would be difficult if you were colorblind. Maybe. <laughs> uh, colorblind, you kind of adapt to this. So as a friend of mine, uh, another commercial photographer, he used to go and do his own color printing of color prints and they were always great but I know he couldn't see a lot of the color which is always interesting okay now we've got all the wires stripped which is boring as all get out it's time to go things like get the shrink tubing and remember to put it on and we need eight chunks of it Four, five, six. I think this is about the smallest shrink tubing you can get. And now we got eight of those little beasties. Come here. Get rid of the big ones. And. It's a bit fiddly. It is a bit fiddly. Uh, 
Okay. No, that's what I want to see, your contraption there. <laughs> Come here. Let's grab some here. There. That keeps Kevin from having me having to ask him to hold these so we can burn his fingers. Okay. He's doing a great impersonation of the mad scientist there, Bill. It's a favorite of mine. <laughs> I don't think I'd have the patience to do this. Well, look at it this way. I didn't have the patience to try and enlarge multiple holes in the boat to get the cable through. And that would have been essentially impossible. I remember I tested your patience a few years ago when it, you helped me install an electric winch. Which took three days because I put a cog upside down. We try not to remember that. <laughs> really. It was funny though. Yeah. Uh, you may have thought so. The thing that uh, Kevin didn't explain about that was... Yeah, he kind of had it together wrong, but... It was in an aft cabin, it was overhead, and you had to put your arms up through the overhead into the deck. And we try only, to we only tried to install it about six times, and it kept going backwards. Until Bill took the uh, winter part and picked up one of the small cogs, looked at the bottom of it, and it said, top. There you go, you should have brought them out earlier. Yeah, well anyway, we've got all these soldered up and um, shrink wrapped and then the ground wire we don't and it just dawned on me and I had a pair of forceps around. So if you can grab those and give your wires a couple of twists and then remember how to release them, it makes twisting them together kind of easier when they're this small wire. And then we'll solder that one. Okay. So I'll put Kevin to work to hold that end of this. Okay, just hold on, I'm going to give it a twist and wrap it up a bit. And I just got stabbed with that with the ground wire. Okay, you can let it go. Let it go. End here. Okay. So we're there. Uh, foil doesn't do anything on this. Okay. Hold that if you would. It's kind of a manufacturing thing, I think. Gee, because it houses everything. Yeah. Not necessary. So he says until it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, right amount of housing on both sides. Let me keep tension on that. I'll just melt it. Shrink it back, I should say, not melt it.
Uh, Starlink. Tell the moment of truth. Did it work? You didn't let me do this beforehand? No. No, you didn't. <laughs> this is actual footage of the switch on. Connect to Starlink Wi-Fi. Tap to open your Wi-Fi connections. Okay. Whilst Bill's figuring out how to use his iPad, I'm going to show you where he's going to, what he's done. There it is. It's all we are live. There it is. That's his installation. He's using a, a 300 watt uh, inverter um, and a remote control so we can switch it all on without shifting his ass off the sofa. And that's where the, uh, the Starlink router is going to go. So, the results of your Dots are moving. Now we're going downward to the other direction. Whoa, that's pretty fast. Jesus. We have another happy cruiser with an uh, operational Starlink system. Hope you found it useful. Uh, thanks Bill for uh, showing us how to do it. Uh, it's something that I wouldn't have undertaken but um, Bill just takes it in his stride. So if you enjoyed the video uh, please uh, subscribe, hit the notification button and uh, you'll get notified when the uh, next video is uh, released. Thanks very much.